Now, for years, innocent civilians have been paying the price of the United States' war on terror. This time around in Kabul, it's no different. Failures in American intelligence have led to the killing of an aid worker and his family members, including seven children. Vion, remember, was the first channel to get you these facts that the Americans had not targeted an ISIS Khorasan target as they were claiming. In fact, Vion's correspondent, Anas Malik, returned to meet with the family members whose calls for justice have been ignored both by the United States and the Taliban. Take a look. 48 hours before the August 31st deadline, the U.S. conducted a drone strike in Kabul's Khawaja Bugra area. It was in retaliation to the ISIS-K attack on the airport. America claimed that it had averted a terror threat. Visuals of the damaged vehicle were put out. The Pentagon said they had hit an ISIS-K target. There were some talks about casualties, but America was busy lauding its righteous strike. It was only after weeks that America admitted that the strike had killed 10 innocent civilians. While they still continue to point fingers at each other, victims on the ground are waiting for justice. They have to pay us the compensation. My family members are under SIVK's consideration and wanted to shift abroad. Now it would be appropriate that we should be shifted abroad so we can live a peaceful life, because it is very difficult to spend life here. Zemarai Ahmadi was among the 10 civilians killed that day. One month has passed since the drone strike, and the family says no one has reached out to them yet, neither the United States nor the Taliban. Has anybody from the US or Taliban reached out to you uh, with regards to this? No one said to still uh, reach out uh, us, and no one uh, contact with us from USA or the Taliban government. Nobody? Nobody contact with us. And uh, what about uh, Zemira's office? Yeah, Zemira office uh, as a chief, as boss, has uh, some contact with me about this accident. Right. Yeah. So the U.S. has not told you officially about uh, that they had wrongly targeted your brother? Yeah, no, uh, officially no. You say directly contact with me and they don't say anything to me. For his sister, Rohina Ahmadi, every day is a reminder of that fatal incident. She calls for compensation and wants the entire family to be shifted abroad. It's an apology with words only. The apology can never bring our family back. I lost somebody who was like a father to me. The small, young and innocent kids would never be able to come back. My demand is that whosoever was involved should be brought to justice. Since the time we have lost 10 people, it's like I have no life, there's no happiness, nothing's mine. Every day that passes by, it feels like it's a bad, bad day that's passing by, what I am expecting. U.S. President Joe Biden had promised to hunt terrorists down. He promised to make them pay. But it looks like, with the failure of the United States intelligence, Afghans here are paying the price of Biden's promises. One month on, this ill-fated car is a grim reminder to the U.S. drone strike that took place that targeted innocents. One month on, the family of Zemarai Ahmadi still await justice. They still await a formal apology and a formal contact from the U.S. administration. Anas Malik in Kabul, Afghanistan for Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.